Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven here with another review. And this time I'll be talking about the S-View flip cover for the Samsung Galaxy S5. In case you missed it, my review of the Galaxy S5 will be linked in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Anyway, this is Samsung's official S5 case that is considered to be a smart slash lifestyle accessory. This review features the black and white cases. However, it's also available in rose gold, pink, and green. Samsung's aim with this case is to enhance your S5 experience with added functionality and style, providing a small convenience of not having to open your display for information. It's made of polyurethane leather and has stitching along the borders, much like the back piece of the Note 3. I've got to say, Samsung put together a great product here. The case is clean, works well, and feels great in the hand. It has sort of an executive business person's accessory look to it, and it doesn't add too much bulk or weight to the original design. I also really like how slim this case is. It replaces the original back piece of the S5 while retaining the gasket that gives you the IP67 rating for dust and water protection for the internal hardware. So while it maintains that original function, water exposure may alter the materials of the case and affect its overall appearance. It features a plastic transparent 6.25 square inch window that allows you to view relevant notifications as well as the time, date, weather, and battery level. S Health pedometer stats can be displayed if it's turned on within the phone. It's because of the plastic window that there's no room left for credit card slots within the inside of the front cover like you sometimes see in folio style cases like this. One thing to note is the window does attract fingerprints, smudges, and dust a bit, much like a cell phone display and can show some glare at certain angles. There's cutouts for the front and rear speakers, rear camera, and heart rate monitor. The front facing camera is covered up so no shots can be made with it until you open the actual cover. Along the spine, there are indicators for the volume keys. Opening the front cover will power on the phone's main display and closing it powers it down. Pressing the power key on the side will activate the display in the window when the front cover is closed. When phone calls come in, you can answer or reject simply by swiping on the window surface without ever having to open the case and still maintain a conversation. Swiping to the left quickly accesses your phone's camera without having to open the cover. The functions here are pretty limited with the ability to take shots with an option for flash, just an FYI, the images are shot at a 1 to 1 aspect ratio and at a 2976 by 2976 resolution that may look a little strange compared to regular photos taken with the phone. Keep in mind you cannot record video in this mode. So I really like this case. I personally prefer a bumper style case, but this one appeals to me because of the sleek official look it has. It doesn't offer much as far as impact protection, but I'm usually pretty careful with my phone, so that's not an issue for me. It's an official Samsung case, so you're getting those precise cutouts, great materials, build quality, and feel. The pricing is a bit on the higher end, but for that you get some cool yet limited functionality, and that's more than what most leather folio style cases like this normally offer. It's slim, minimalistic, and premium. You get that original back piece replacement while maintaining the IP67 rating for dust and water protection. It's also pretty cool to be able to color match the case to your phone, or you have the option to give it some contrast with different color versions. Samsung will have a wireless charging version of the s -View coming in the future. That'll give you wireless charging on all Qi compatible wireless charging pads so you can charge your phone without connecting or disconnecting cables. So my knocks on this case are that it's a little pricey, the lack of impact protection, and that it's gonna require some cleaning and has some glare on the viewing window. The white case will probably show more dirt and wear and tear over time. Also, who knows what'll happen to the polyurethane leather down the road if it ever gets exposed to moisture. So if you're looking to get this case, I'll leave a link in the description for pricing. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. I'll see you in the next one.